is selling desired outcomes in the gym membership sale. Now, here's what we see that happens in many, many facilities is all it is is we're showing features, we're showing facilities, and then we're showing price. Will we turn this thing into a commodity and there's really nothing that's going to separate you from anybody else unless you choose to change the method with which you're selling. Okay, so you want to sell desired outcome. So you want to find out the goals of your customer. Now, when you find out these goals, you know, now that's the that's the first step. And we're not going to go through that whole process, that whole fundamental process here. But you find out your customer's goals. You find out that they want to lose 20 pounds. They want to firm up. They want to get back into shape. Uh, they want to drop a dress size. OK, whatever that might be. And the idea here is, is you want to sell desired outcomes. Now, in and of itself, you know, losing weight is not a desired outcome. That's merely a goal. What you want to find out is, and it's one of the first questions you ask, is, you know, why is this important to you? Why is it important to lose that weight? Maybe it's to get off medication. Maybe it's to make sure they don't have to go on medication. Maybe they're getting married. Maybe they just got a divorce. Maybe there's a big reunion coming up. You know, there could be any number of things as to why this is important. And it's crucial that you find this out. And the reason it is, is because when value exceeds the price, people will buy. When value exceeds the price, people will buy. If all you're doing is showing features and facilities, this is too easy to compare to everybody else. And somebody else who's cheaper is going to win that battle. So you find out the customer's goals and you need to find out now why these goals are important. That's where the value is going to be here for your client. OK, and, you know, and, and sometimes, many times, maybe you may get this information you know, quickly. Other times you may have to probe a bit. So when you're probing and Mary, you want to lose the weight, you want to do all these things. Why do you have interest now? OK, you know, what what long term problem are you trying to solve? You want to lose the weight. You know, what long term problem are you trying to solve? And maybe her history, her family has a history of diabetes and she's trying to you know, do some things there in a positive sense. You know, losing this weight, you know, how is this going to make a difference in your life? And you could even take it a step further is, you know, what's the first thing you're going to do when you lose the weight? You know, what was like what was life like, you know, before you gain the weight? OK. You can talk about their wardrobe, you know, some of those types of things. But the thing you want to remember is find out what the desired outcome is, not just the goals, but why those goals are important. That's what you sell. That's what you talk about, not only on the tour, but that's how you're going to overcome, you know, client concerns at point of sale. Stay focused on these desired outcomes. My name is Jim Thomas, and this has been the Fitness Management Update.